In this training session, I would like to talk about the comparison between Omron Sismac Studio and Rockwell Studio 5000. Ok, let's get started. Sismac Studio is a fairly small install in comparison. It requires 4.6 GB free disk space compared to Logix 5000 that requires 16 GB free disk space. Sysmac Studio supports all hardware and project file version. Past, present and future. Logix 5000 install of version 30 only supports hardware version 30.0 and project files of version 30.0. Sysmac has no activation just simple registration for updates. Logix has an activation required, Tech Connect required for support and updates, 5 seats is about $10,000 per year. Sysmac can be installed on more than one PC using the same key code but the license is for one user. Logix can only run on one PC per activation. Sysmac has no view only version. Logix has a cheap view only version available. Studio 5000 supports ladder, structure text, function block diagram and SFC programming. Sysmac Studio supports ladder, structure text, function block, but no SFC now. Motion are similar, but either CAT motion is faster and easier than Studio 5000. Safety side, Logix 5000 supports CIP safety. Sysmac Studio supports both CIP safety and safety over EtherCAT. Network side, Logix 5000 is still based on Ethernet IP and ControlNet, as well as DeviceNet. Sysmac Studio supports EtherCAT, Ethernet IP, as well as DeviceNet. Sysmac Studio saves everything like PLC, HMI, Vision, Smart Sensors, Drives etc. in the same file and folder, so it is truly an integrated development environment. Studio 5000 stores programs in Rockwell ACD file, different files for HMI. Sysamp Studio can store the source code like Visual Studio source code. That is why Sysmac Studio can use get version control. Sysmac Studio projects have name as well as author and detailed comments vs just a Windows file name like Logix. Auto revision saving in Sysmac adds a new rev number every time you save. Ask the audience about a file revision saving. Sysmac Studio import and export tool is very different than Rockwell. To save the project as a Windows file we need to export. No need to import to open, just double click SMC2 file in Windows. If Sysmac Studio is open then double clicking a SMC2 in Windows opens a second instance of Studio. I have had as many as 5 open before. To pull a project from a controller, you can connect directly from here. Library files are treated like standard project but can be published. This section covers basic communication and controller settings. It also covers the basics of adding other hardware to the project like HMI, I.O. and network devices. Studio 5000 configure the drivers in Arslinks, browser, and find the target controller, set project path to the controller, then go online with PLC. This picture shows selecting the connection method in the project. If opening a project from a controller the last choice of select one is not available. Input an IP address if Ethernet via hub or remote using USB methods are used. If you choose the select one option then you are asked to choose every time you click to go online. Both USB and Ethernet uses CIP and HTTP. Communications test basically does a ping. Name controller or change model. Select chassis and CPU slot. Set project path. Enable ports, port config tab. Security settings, security tab. Other tabs are mostly for monitoring or settings while online like the clock. Briefly go over these settings. There is not many basic settings for NX slash New Jersey. Most of this has to do with the SD memory card. Startup operation. Memory card diagnostic. Memory card transfer settings. Include instruction errors in event log. Startup security settings. Network time setting on date slash time tab. No FTP. No SNMP. 
the controller selected had an EIP port built in. Settings stored in the controller. Must be online to view. Animation note, click slide to see online view of ENBT IP settings. Briefly talk about TCP slash IP settings. No DHCP, but we have a FB that can do it. FTP client and server settings. Network time server. SNMP settings. Legacy fin settings. Tasks are added to the folder tree. Tasks can be periodic or event based. Tasks can have priority assigned. Tasks can have tag slash parameters assigned. Tasks have a disable for automatic control of outputs. Add new programs under the task folder. Add tasks to the task list. Tasks can be periodic or event based. Tasks can have priority assigned. Tasks can have variables assigned. Task can have exclusive I.O. control. Add programs assignments under the task. Only programs are shown in Omran's tree like the Oblogical Organizer. You can add. Add HMI to Ethernet. Add controller to Ethernet. These devices are just a connection. Cannot be programmed from this project. Cannot add safety CPU unless parent CPU supports it. Special model. Add multiple controllers. Add multiple HMIs. Add safety controllers slash CPUs. Add standalone drives. Project can contain them all for an entire line. All programs can be worked on at once. Filtered by category and vendor. Default is latest firmware. Drag and drop to move slot location only if available. Module setup accessed in tree. Modules can be discovered or scanned when online. You can have a favorites list. Default is latest firmware. Drag and drop to move slot location. Module setup accessed here by double click. Modules can be discovered or scanned when online. Default is latest firmware. Drag and drop to duplicate in the tree. Node setup accessed in tree. Nodes can be discovered or scanned in when online. Default is latest firmware. Drag and drop to move on network. Nodes can be discovered or compared and merged when online. Third party is supported by ESI file. This section covers basic software navigation, tags and data types, reusable code, AOE slash function blocks, basic motion setup and more. The main thing Logix has different is the browse function, path with the red box. This is ours Linksys who active utility. In Sysmac Studio, you can have multiple controllers in the project. As well as HMI, safety, vision etc. Studio 5000 is limited to have tabs in each window. Also, the windows are locked inside the main window. Honestly, Studio 5000 is still like Windows 98 style technology interfaces. Can't float outside the application. Docking is limited. Sysmac Studio Windows and Tabs. Modern software allows sheet calls for Windows. Sheet calls open Windows as Docked Window. Floating Window. Tab Document. Tabbed Window. Sysmac Studio uses this technology. In Sysmac Studio, you can undock windows, and utilize multiple monitors, logic on one, HMI on another, trends, safety etc. Logix has canned tags for I.O. The I.O. tags are not editable. Studio 5000 has an alias function to give them an logical name. The alias is added to a separate tag shown below. The base tag is shown because you can alias an alias of an alias. No way giving multiple names to the same object can get confusing. Sysmac Studio's I.O. mapping works and the ad is automatically assigned. You can copy and paste these tags to a different module if I.O. physically moves. Makes nice I.O. document when pasted in Excel. Can set and force data here. Four variables both have name, comment, data type, network type and constant. Follow the colors to show each setting data type etc. 
Sysmac does not do alias like they do unless you use %d100 type ats. Logix does not have retain or initial value. All of their tags are retained and a copy of their value is stored in the project. Only their IO is non-retained. Logix has no word, real, date, time, or unsigned data types. Recently added, 5380, Compact Logix, and 5580, Control Logix, processors now support usint, uint, udint, ulint, and real data types. Both support one, two and three dimensional arrays. Structures are the universal term for derived data types. UB calls them UDTs. Our 32-bit format is almost exactly like Logix. To duplicate exactly we use the user offset type. Bytes have to match up exactly for CIP read slash write to Rockwell. Both have F1 instruction help. Logix is not drag and drop. Omran has better descriptions for names. PLC open is a big plus. Logix toolbar is kind of hard to navigate. However, add ladder element is nicer. UB does not do user functions only function blocks. Not sure why they call them instructions. Talk about what you get when adding an Omran library. Functions, function blocks, structures, namespaces etc. The audience probably knows all about Logix OWIs. Talk about the differences and advantages of custom functions. Use less memory, no instance name, etc. IEC has definitions for FBS and Sysmac follows the standard closely. They even look like the examples in the standards. It is much easier to see what the in and out variables need to be in Omran with the IEC format. You can even hover over the parameter in the block to see the data type. Point out that since Omran can have multiple instances of Studio open at once, we can just copy and paste code from other projects. Many of us have a sample code folder with all kinds of shared code. You can also have one project with all of your most common code in it. Although we can import programs, pose, structures etc. from XML, we cannot export. The Logix.L5X files are very nice. They can export but the format is Rockwell only. The XML file includes all referenced UDTs, OWIs, and variables. Omran needs the export but ours could buy directly imported to Beckhoff and other competitors. .L5X is non-standard XML format but we are working on a converter to be able to import Logix code. CX programmer had this feature but it was stored in a proprietary .CXR file. The application code manager, ACM, design process involves a suite of applications. In Sysmac Studio, you can create your project template, even make your own Sysmac library including project template, document, detailed program logic, as well as example program, and register it as Sysmac library, later you utilize your Sysmac library in your project easily. Also, it is good way to protect your copyright, block the sensitive logic and secret, but no influence on your customer using your library to complete their projects. Omran has released lots of Sysmac libraries for customer use, such as for PLC, HMI, Servo, Ethercat, Flying Cutter, Temperature Control etc.